Uh, Chris, your thoughts on, on the AFL's statement? Oh, look, we totally understand um, the AFL's position. Um, yeah, we've had discussions with the AFL, uh, obviously on, on Saturday night, Sunday and subsequently today, so uh, nothing that I didn't expect um, would be coming from them. Have the boys, a bit of confusion, has, have the boys failed concussion tests today? No, they haven't failed concussion tests today. Um, they have reported, um, both of them, in fact, have um, suggested that they've still got um, headaches. And so on that basis, um, you know, out, of, out of an abundance of caution, we've, we've made the decision to put them both into um, the concussion protocols. Did the league suggest that in any way? Did they say, yeah, was that kind of part of what they were saying to you? Uh, no, their, their conversation over the last couple of days has been more about the process and, and obviously it's also given uh, an opportunity for our doctor to reflect upon um, the vision specifically and so you know, he's, he's made the decision um, you know, again on the, on the basis of reviewing um, both um, the way that he went about um, his conduct and the vision and has made the, um, the decision today that um, he's happy uh, to put them both into those concussions and, he, and sorry, concussion protocols and specifically with regard to Aaliyah, um, you know, that he should have done that SCAT 5 test uh, immediately after the incident. On review, I guess, why, can you say why he didn't put it, yeah, subject Aaliyah to that SCAT 5 test? Uh, well, no, other than to say that, um, you know, it's, it's a medical call that uh, is not, you know, for coaches or administrators to make. Um, you know, Dr Fisher uh, has been a long-standing doctor at this club. Um, he has been you know, a medical professional for a long time, including you know, going to both Olympic and Commonwealth Games. Um, you know, his decision on the night was to not do it, uh, and as I've said on reflection, he thinks he should have. Did Aaliyah get a SCAT 5 test after the game on Saturday and on Sunday? Yeah, look, Aaliyah has passed the tests that he needed to subsequent to that, but um, you know, Mark Fisher's decision was specifically in regard to you know, the, the protocol of having the test done immediately post um, the incident. I guess looking at the guidelines, it kind of says with the SCAT 5 test should be kind of um, used in conjunction with the HIA. Is there any, are the guidelines too vague at some points? So it kind of says then later on in it that it can be up to the doctor if they you know, speak to the player and um, get information from them. Now they, yeah, they can just return them to the field. Well, in, in fairness, the, the concussion protocols are there for not necessarily journos to be able to follow, but for doctors. And so, you know, in this case, as I say, um, Mark Fisher, uh, on reflection, believes that he should have you know, done the, the SCAT 5 test immediately after. And um, you know, obviously we, we support Mark overall, but he's suggested that he should have made that decision. What happens for, for Mark now? Is that something the club will investigate further? Can, can he have club sanctions or...? Oh, look, I mean, from, from our perspective, you know, he's, he's made a mistake here. Um, it's obviously one that has created, you know, a fair bit of conjecture around the league and under, understandably so because concussion is obviously um, a significant issue. You know, whatever next steps happen from here will be led by the AFL and, and obviously we'll, we've been asked to provide some information to them, which we will do in due course. And, um, and obviously we'll work from there. Based on his support, an independent, I guess, an independent doctor being there for especially concussion, potential concussion incidents? Uh, well, yeah, at the end of the day, no matter whether it's an independent person or, you know, a club person, um, these situations are judgment calls made by, um, you know, doctors at the time. So obviously you, you, we want to make sure that we're getting these decisions right and if that means that an independent person is best placed to do so then of course um, you know, with concussion being the, the issue that it is we would support whatever the AFL believe is the, is the best outcome um, you know, into the future. Because the assumption with the independent doctor is that clubs can't really be trusted to make those calls within the, the pressure of a big game. Do you think clubs can be trusted in that sense? Yeah, of course I do. Have you been given a timeline today in terms of when or if the AFL will, will provide a sanction? Uh, no, well, at, at the moment, I mean, the sanction you know, is obviously a potential if um, the AFL want to go down that path. But you know, right now, all the AFL have asked for um, you know, is our explanation of, of the issue. We'll provide that. And as I say, whatever happens from there will happen. Are you expecting a sanction? I'm not expecting anything at this point other than to provide 
um, the AFL with the necessary uh, information that they require. Whatever happens from there will be um, totally um, their call. And you know, given concussion is um, you know, the issue that it is, I'm sure that they'll take it very seriously. Yeah, how have the AFL been, their dealings with you post Saturday night? Like, have they been angry, frustrated, anything like that? Uh, no, not at all. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, uh, the issue is one for medical professionals to, to manage. Um, you know, in this situation, the conversations that I have you know, are generally with administrators at the AFL and you know, their question is more you know, around process of the medical situation. So, look, you know, the, the conversations I've had have, have been fine in the sense of it's an information-seeking exercise at the moment. We've provided them with um, you know, the information that we can up to this point. They've asked for um, some more, as, as has been mentioned in their statement, and we'll provide that and, um, and we'll work from there. So the HIA on Saturday night involves looking at the vision. Have you been able to work out why Dr Mark could get one finding on Saturday night and a different one today? Uh, well, the, the situation you know, on, on the night, I mean, they were different in the sense that, um, you know, Lockie was presenting straight away with um, a different set of symptoms than what Alia was. So, you know, um, Dr Fisher made the decision at that point that, that Lockie needed uh, further investigation and, as you saw, um, went off and um, had um, the required tests from there. Uh, Alia didn't present in the same manner um, and was, you know, for all intents and purposes on the bench, um, you know, only dealing with a lacerated chin. But as I've said, um, you know, Dr Fisher on reflection um, had suggested that he should have done the test post that. So you know, the, the, you know, the ultimate aspect of this is to end up in a position where we're saying that um, Dr Fisher has acknowledged that the SCAT test should have been done at that point. So do you, will Dr Fisher keep his job? Yes, he will. Um, but I guess in the future, should SCAT 5 tests be kind of intertwined with the HIA assessment? Is that something that we should look at in the league? Um, look, I, I think at the end of the day, the protocols are best set by the AFL um, you know, and other medical professionals. I'm not going to sit here and suggest that I'm any more qualified than a doctor, whether that um, be the AFL's doctors or any other doctor who may have a view. Um, I'm an administrator and I'm more than happy to leave the medical professionals to work out what's best for concussion into the future. The boys have um, they're listed as one to two weeks. Is that because they've entered concussion protocols a bit later? So that would be a... a, a no, no. Today. I mean, I'm not sure what we've suggested um, in our injury report other than the fact that they've entered the protocols. They'll have to go through the, um, the required period of time. Um, and the gradual steps to return to both training and playing.